what the fuck is a star seed? What the hell? Whatever. Okay, so find you. You're probably a star seed. One, you came to Earth. You feel like you have a purpose, and that you like to want to save people and help people. Um, empathy. Empathy is probably a big one. Not that humans aren't empathetic, but you know, supernatural empathy. Um, bonding more with animals and nature than with other human beings. I think animal communication is definitely on the list. If I had to make a list. <clears throat> Longing for home and never being able to find that place. Simply not fitting in with other humans. Um, <clears throat> physical features that are just weird and unexplainable. Like violet eyes or pointy ears or anything really not consistent with human appearance. Um, my sister and I have dishwater green hair and it's not a good thing, but it is weird. Um, so another thing you can look at that's tangible is if your inner and outer planets are conjunct in your natal chart. So uh, inner planets are Sun, Moon, Mercury, Mars, Venus, and Jupiter and Saturn kind of. They're kind of like intermediate planets in my opinion. Outer planets are Pluto, Neptune, Uranus. So if you had Venus conjunct Uranus or Pluto conjunct the Sun or something like that, you know, Moon conjunct Neptune. These are all things that would be indicative of starseed uh, energy. All It's like bringing in the ascension energies. That's what it was described to me through Laura Eisenhower, who is an amazing astrologer. There's another, there's like a website somewhere on the internet that Scale claims to, and I haven't, I haven't paid for her services, so I'm not sure if she is actually good or not. But she says that there are certain astrological components in a birth chart that will determine whether or not you're a starseed. And I believe uh, something to do with like the 15th degree of Taurus and Scorpio or something like that. Don't quote me on that because I'm not positive. But um, there's a Pleiadian lineup with the stars somewhere in Taurus. And it's worth looking at. Uh, check out the website if you're curious. I'm sure you can find it if you Google it. Bless you. Otherwise, Bridget Rao. Divine Essentials, the gal I, I mentioned earlier in the video, she's freaking amazing, and I'm sure she has some, like, information about how to find that website. So, peace out.